Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 9, For we know in part and we prophesy in part. New Living Translation, Now our knowledge is partial and incomplete and even the gift of prophecy reveals only part of the whole picture. Uh, King James Bible, For we know in part and we prophesy in part. Amplified Bible, for we know in part and we prophesy in part, for our knowledge is flag- fragmentary and incomplete. So this verse is talking about just how, if you were to put all the knowledge you have from the day you were born to this very moment, it's only part of the picture. It's not the full picture. Even the very knowledge about yourself is only part of the picture. The very knowledge about anything you, anything you think you know very well is only part of the picture. Um. The Bible talks about how angels, the, 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 the seraphim and the cherubim are constantly worshiping God and saying and acknowledging and saying, you are holy, you are holy. And as soon as one starts, the others follow and say the same thing, constantly worshiping God because they see all the wonderful works that God is working and they are absolutely in awe of God all the time. This is what they do day in, day out. Worshipping God and acknowledging how amazing he is. Do you know why? Part of that is because they see all the wonderful things he does, all the justice, all the um, all the kindness, all the mercy that he shows and just how God is so precisely faithful to who he is. You couldn't possibly um, change who he is, no matter how much you thought he loved you. He's just constant and he's fair and he's fair to every single one of us, all seven billion of us. Now, I realize not everybody feels that way or thinks that way or imagines that God is good because some people are experiencing really difficult periods of time. And the truth is when you're going through those times, it's, it's just hard to believe that God is really there. And this is where faith comes in. You know, you're actually this scripture, there's a scripture before it that says, when I was a child, I thought like a child. As you grow older, and I don't mean in your age physically, I mean in your faith, as your, as your faith matures, you start to find that w- w- when you first started being a Christian, all you, have to, you had to do was say, in G, you, or maybe say, the Lord is my shepherd, or, or maybe say, God help me, and literally God would help you straight away. But as you grow older in your faith, it, it really literally feels like, God, what, what do you want me to do? Why am I, this is taking too long, help me. And it feels like he's being silent. No, he's not being silent. God is a parent. He's not just a God that is in service for us to just push a button and get what we want. He is our father, literally. He's, he's more of a father to us than our earthly fathers. Take the best father out there. Anyone who thinks my father is the best father in the whole world, God is more than that. God knows what's best for us. God knows what he's doing at any time. The Bible says all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. So you may, right now, you may be looking and seeing chaos in, in your life and seeing hopelessness and, and, and just feeling exhausted. The, the, all I can say is give God a chance. I can't explain everything. I can tell you that I, I completely understand what people go through. I completely understand the frustration. I completely understand how sometimes it can feel like you are praying and fasting and God is not answering that. There is no such thing. God answers us all the time. Also, God can teach you. You know, God has a way that he wants things to be done. And even when you think you're doing your absolute best, it, it, you know, and, and you're saying, God, I, I, I've done this. I did it only for God to point out and say, yes, but when you did this, when you, when you went on that 21 a day prayer and fasting you were actually being resentful of so and so do you know that god is that kind of teacher he can take you through when you think you've done your absolute best he's also merciful don't get me wrong god is merciful at the very least when you go through prayer and fasting you will see things in the spirit realm but when you feel like he's not answered no give god a chance just wait and and make your 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 stay in the word of God, a, a, a constant thing. Let that be a permanent thing that you do. Just be constantly planted in the word of God. Let your pursuit of God be a lifestyle. It can't just be a one-off thing because the danger is sometimes it's even more dangerous to seek God one time and get amazing results and go back to the way you were before. You'll end up being worse off. It's better to decide now I'm going after God and I'm going after him for good. Because when you go and seek him and get what you want, then go back to your old lifestyle. This is how you find yourself getting worse and worse and worse until you get to a point where you feel like you're being hopeless. 
it's really, really important. I have to emphasize that seeking God it is a permanent, is a lifestyle. And yes, I have to say, you will come across some really disappointing, painful scenarios and it feels like God is not answering you. I can promise you God answers. He is answering you. The best person to keep asking when you feel upset is him. Talk to him, complain to him and say, but God, th this isn't right. You promised me this. You promised me that. And to have a, you know, the Bible says a broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, you will not despise that broken heart. God doesn't despise a broken heart. He will show you uh, things. He will send the right people. And I know I'm listening to some people and they're thinking yeah, he's not doing that for me. Hang on. Hang on. God is always, if you give him time, it will, it will shock you one day. Just what God was doing. Just think about Joseph. Joseph for 15 years, from being a small boy to being a fully grown man, being sent, being passed from pillar to post, passed from his father to a slave, from being a slave down into prison. It's like things were getting worse and worse for him for 15 years. When people his age were getting married and having children and building houses, he was a prisoner. Do you understand? Do you understand? Joseph, it's not, it's not, just because Joseph lived in so many hundreds of years ago that he can't understand our situation. No, even in his time, it was humiliating what he went through. It was horrible. It was painful what he went through. But look what God did for him in the end. God works. God really does. All things work together for, to them that love the Lord. Keep loving the Lord. As long as you love God, I heard a really good minister say this. He says, just ask yourself, do I love God? Yes, then relax. If you know you love God, relax. Whatever is happening right now in your life is happening for your good. When you feel really low and depressed and, and anxious and exhausted, try speaking in tongues. For me, that works wonders. Speaking in tongues really does wonders for me. Absolute wonders. Literally, sometimes I don't even use words. Just speak in tongues. Set yourself even 15 minutes to just speak in tongues nonstop. Give yourself some private time. That's what it means, guys, to set up a prayer altar. But whatever it is you're going through, remember, you only see in part. This is only part of the picture. There's a bigger story about your life. There's a bigger picture about your life. You're only looking at a small part of the puzzle. This isn't everything. And as exhausting as it is for people to keep telling you, don't worry, one day, it's exhausting when people keep encouraging you and keep saying, oh, no, one day you'll have this. One day you'll do this. It, it gets exhausting after a while. Just keep your peace. Hold your peace. The Bible says, be still and know that I am God. Use your faith. Sharpen your faith. Let these, let these situations you're going through, let them sharpen your faith. All I can tell you is, without explaining everything I'm going through, I can tell you that you are not on your own. But I can also tell you that it's possible to fight through prayer. It's possible. Speak in tongues. Use the word of God. Just keep at it. There's nothing else to do. Just do that. God is faithful to his word. He said, my word will not return to me void. That one verse, stick to one verse. verse. Maybe don't try to change too many of them. One, one verse. Stick to it. Keep repeating it. Stick to it. Meditate on it and watch God manifest the power of that verse. But give God time. Give him a chance. He works for us. Remember, we're all dealing with different situations. We're all dealing with different altars, particularly if you're from Africa. You have altars to contend with. You are dealing with situations that people who have never uh, been attacked by evil altars would never possibly, they couldn't even understand. You are dealing with this. This is what you're dealing with. You need to be determined that and say, you know, Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. That's what Job said. He was saying, and he was talking when God had already killed his children and made him have boils all over his body. And he said, no, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. You get to a point where even if you've been left with nothing, just say, God, I'm, 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 I'm representing you. If this is the picture you want to send to people, then so be it. To you be the glory. Let people see what worshiping God will be like. But as long as those people are seeing you down, even, 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 when, even though you're still worshiping God, one day they'll see you up worshiping that same God. Let us not give up, brothers and sisters. Keep fighting. You only see in part that what you are seeing right now is just a small part of the picture. There's a whole big, beautiful picture of your life that God is painting and you're going to enjoy the beautiful parts. Don't just give up on the negative parts. Enjoy the beautiful parts. Stay encouraged. We are praying. The month is about to end. Beginning of um, uh, 
beginning of October, we will be fasting. For those who want to start preparing for fasting, whatever you do, don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.